creates the big Liverpool dilemma. Sadio and Salah, Mo Mane, Mo problems really. Mane's recent performances have got everyone going Sadio Gaga and piling <laughs> off his Egyptian teammate. In fact, after an incredible period of, of uh, Salah being around 50%, 40% ownership, pretty much since he arrived at Liverpool, he's now down to his lowest in over two years, just 27% of teams worldwide. That's amazing. Now, Sam, you still have Salah in your team. Lee, you made the switch from Salah to Mane back in yes. game week nine. Sam, I want to know, are you planning on keeping the faith? <laughs> It's uh, getting really hard to because Mane's form is just so good at the moment that it's hard to stick with Salah. But then you look at the stats and Salah is still edging it. Just about. See, I told, so you, we said that about this before the show. So, you, that, so that is a season stat. If you look at the XG, and I know you love XG, XGI stats, which is the expected goal involvement. Over the course of the season, you're right, Salah is better. But in the last six, Mane is head and shoulders above him. He's the four man right now. All right, and the biggest stat of all is how many points you scored. Mane's got more than Salah, and he's 0.3 million cheaper than Salah. So, Lee, no gr regrets for you. No, no regrets. And I think if you, I don't think you would downgrade from Salah to Mane because of money now, because it's going to be, I mean, not. 0.3 between them. Mm. It's not going to be too long before they've got parity. So I think now is literally a straight choice as to whether you think it's Mane or Salah. There's, the money's not involved anymore. Mm. Uh, the chat amongst the FPL community seems to be that since Salah picked up that minor ankle injury against Leicester, he's not mm. quite been the same. But if we take a look at the stats from the last three game weeks, it's quite interesting really because Salah's minutes per shot ratio is actually the best in the league, and he's way ahead of Sadio Mane. Now, we know that Salah didn't play in game week nine due to injury, so is that not a suggestion that the tide will eventually sway back to Salah? So if you're thinking of the switch, Sam, is it not better to just stick? Yeah, and, and this is where I kind of keep umming and ahhing with myself on it, because actually, over the course of the season, I genuinely do believe that they will there or thereabouts level out. And as Lee said earlier, it's no longer about the money with those two. It is simply a choice between do you want Salah, do you want Mane? So there is a big part of me that says just ride it out with Salah because once he hits form again, he's also on penalties that Mane isn't. Yeah. That's another dimension. I think the it, timing yeah. with the injury as well. You've got the international break coming up. So if you can hold Salah for this week, see how he goes over that international break. You know he's not going to play any game time. So maybe if we get some more positive noises towards the end of that international break from Klopp, it's worth keeping. But you might get some more positive fixtures as well because after he's mm. had that rest over the international break, Liverpool's games do look a lot easier. There you can see Man City coming up this Sunday and then a whole watch of green. How much uh, does that make you reconsider your position? Possibly when, when we get those green fixtures and Salah owners start captaining him, are you going to be tempted to move back? <laughs> uh, maybe. I'm pretty happy owning Mane. Uh, you said before, James, the points don't lie. He's 12 points up now on Salah. Any FPL asset that's 12 million plus who is having to have, you know, injury management. We, Klopp's come out in the press about how, he, how he's having to manage that injury with Salah. You don't want that as an FPL manager. And if you're going to captain him, that's going to put some doubt in your mind as to whether you want to captain him. Mane's in form. He's about the same price as Salah. You put the armband on him, no problem. So, mm. no, I'd be happy with Mane. In terms of the match as a whole, how encouraging is it if you own any Liverpool assets? The potential that Edison might not play this game. Yeah, it's massive, particularly when Man City are already without some of their big defensive players like Laporte, for example.